Morning. Stuck I am. <laughs> In the middle of the docks I am. <laughs> um, you probably won't see this till later because there's a prison back there. And they block all the Wi-Fi. It has hooked up to my phone, but uh, we'll see, shall we? Um, anyway, let's crack on. Oh, courtesy of Cambridge Police, who made my life a living hell for five years. Uh, Paul Andrew Greaves, Warwickshire Police, charged with stealing £113,000. Proceeding. What are you doing? I don't know what you're doing. I don't know where they get some of these. There was one before, but he'd been fiddling mortgages or something, hadn't he? It was like 600 grand he was nearly away on his toes with or something. I don't know. PC Matthew Fisher, North Yorkshire Police, sexual assault. There's a surprise. It always is, isn't it? Um, jailed for 15 months. That's another surprise. He obviously wasn't in the Freemason crew. Uh, Sergeant James Bowes, Sussex Police, selling information to the Sun. Jailed for 10 months. Yeah, they don't like that, do they? There was that other inspector, wasn't there, sold information to the news of the world. Uh, PC Roger Toms, Surrey Police, charged with shoplifting proceeding. Rebecca Swanston, Hampshire Police, disclosing info to criminals. Jailed for three years. Again, they always seem to go down for giving confidential information away, don't they? Uh, PCSO Andrew Seston, Thames Valley Police, drink driving a police vehicle proceeding. Oh, we'll get off with that then, won't PC Osman Iqbal, West Midlands Police, managing brothel and drug offences, jailed for seven years. It's always amazing when they think they're just going to get away with it, I think, really more than anything, given their sort of standing, standing in the community. Andrew White, Metropolitan Police, drunk driving, eight weeks suspended. So there you go, next time you're up in front of the judge. Request a suspended sentence. Um, PC Stephen Killock, Lothian and Borders Police, sexual assault on a 15-year-old girl awaiting sentence. They're all kiddie fiddlers, aren't they? Kitty fiddlers, rapists. D.I. Heather Eastwood, Cleveland Police Misconduct Sacked. P.C. Eileen Arthurs, Kent Police Misconduct, jailed for two and a half years. Well, that surprises me because Kent is Freemason Central. It's as bad as Huntingdon because that's John Major's old stamping ground, so that's all sealed up. That really does surprise me, actually, Kent Police. I'd have thought they would have promoted her. Uh, Stephen Cooper White, Central Scotland Police, rape and assault, jailed for six years. A police officer, Metropolitan Police, is another one selling information to the news of the world. <laughs> oh, jailed for two years. Geoffrey Lake, Lancashire Police, sex offences and child cruelty, jailed for 18 years. Should it, can we bring back the death penalty? I think these people should be shot, personally. P.O., I think that was a prison officer, I would think, Richard Trunkfield, Milton Keynes, selling info on John Venables, jailed for 16 months. Ooh. Now that was the, the Jamie Bolger case, wasn't it? I do remember, because those two were given new identities, I think, I do remember something coming out about where one of them was living. That might have been about the same time. Uh, PC Andrew Fellows, West Minister Police, charged with sexual offences, two year. What's CD? I don't know what CD is. If anyone knows what a two year CD is, 
community. No, I don't know. Uh, Deputy Chief Constable Cleveland Police Misconduct Sacked. Ricky Giff, Diplomatic Protection. Oh, so firearms then. Uh, misconduct, jailed for nine months. Probably took his gun home. Uh, or her gun, I don't know. Ricky, Ricky. PC Lee Billcox, South Yorkshire Police, sex with a vulnerable woman, jailed for nine months. I've said it before, if you took all the sexual offences, be it kiddie fiddling rape, whatever, and put them in one column and put every other thing on this list in another column, it would be 50-50. I swear on my life. Um, Sergeant Ian Poskett, West Yorkshire Police, indecent exposure, 12 month community order. I wonder if he put a picture of his genitals on Facebook. You won't get that unless you watch the last video. Um, I wonder if that's community order. These contact lenses are a bit dodgy for reading. No, I think it's CD. Okay. Right, 12 month community order. Um, DC Nicholas McFadden, West Yorkshire Police, stealing drugs and reselling them. Jailed for 23 years. What? Right. Someone obviously didn't like you, mate. Uh, Paul Lucy, Lincolnshire Police, producing a controlled drug, jailed for three years. To cannabis, probably. I would think. There was a story, um, I forget, oh God, years ago now. Five, six years ago. And they'd found this house that was growing cannabis, and the reason they could tell was because of the bright lights. It was all up in the attic, and the bright lights to help it grow were generating so much heat it was showing through the roof, and it turned out to be the PCSO <laughs> when they knocked on the door. <laughs> uh, Richard Chilvers, Ireland PSNI, indecent images of children, jailed for five months. Tanya Brooks, Surrey Police, £11,000 fraud, jailed for two and a half years. PC John Caulfield, Metropolitan Police, assault and misconduct, sacked. But no prison sentence, obviously, for assault. Uh, Alan Tierney, Metropolitan Police, charge of misconduct, proceeding. And PC James Williams, Avon and Somerset Police, sexual assault on a three-year-old girl. Found not guilty. Mm. I mean, it either is or isn't. You know, I mean, they must have had some kind of evidence to make the accusation. So, I suspect it was. <laughs> All right, I'll cheer you up for the weekend, guys.